Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be playing a few holes with the Zone GT Battle Pack. Let's get into it. this time <laughs> so right here I have the zone GT bottle pack this purple one is the ringer GT top with the uh, grip track on the very edge and then this orange one is the banger GT top with the groove more toward the center and this one instantly is less comfortable to me i had to grip on the very edge because if my thumb goes in here in the grip track i am late releasing every time but let's see how i play this is hole one at bonita creek it's right under the trees i'm gonna try to flex them right through we got straight at the basket we'll go ring or gt top first to the tree. Now for the bang of GT top. See if we can do a little bit better. Alright, that went farther but it was on the wrong line. It went wide of the trees. The gap and I'm right in front of the tee pad. It's right through there. And I was trying to aim at that tree and flex it through there. My uh, Ringer GT top hit the uh, small tree right there. All right, hole two at Bonita Creek Park is right over there. It's centered with the camera now. Um, but I am going to try to throw a hyzer to the right, kind of over the road, but not that wide. Just keep it low. So originally I planned to have this video out. I recorded and posted sooner, but I did not get to it. But I had a little free time today. So I thought, why not? Let's go record it. I don't know if anyone else is selling the banger or the Zone GT battle packs anymore, but this is my review. All right, hole four is uh, to the left of the big tree on the left side of your screen. I'm gonna try to just throw a hyzer, get close to the tree and hopefully wrap right around the tree to get close to the basket. Those aren't bad. Simple hyzers. All right, there are lots of cars going by, but we're going to the basket just to the right of the tree. The tee pad is right there on the left side of your screen. Let's go forehand with them. Threw the ringer one into the ground, but it skips up there. Try the banger. That one looks a lot better. That one's a little long. All right, probably the last hole I'm going to record. Uh, this hole seven. Uh, just a longer forehand, way over there 
it to the left side of your screen. Uh, let's get it started. We'll start with the banger. It's on a flat forehand. So it might be long of the basket. It's only 170 feet. Well, I'm back. I decided not to leave the video where it was. It's been like two minutes since I stopped the camera. <laughs> but I figured that y'all would want a better explanation of the disc. Um, before these two, the banger top, just didn't, I was always getting late releases out of it on my backhand and I was having to grip really close to the edge to get a good zone flight out of it, a nice overstable flight. Um, but the ringer, top just fit better for me it was smoother across the top i felt now the grip trap is, track is still there it's not completely smooth like a regular zone but it just fit my backhand and my forehand better um where the banger gt i don't throw many split grip forehands but that's kind of what it required to throw this disc. So I just had to grip it on the grip track and it still flew all right, but I think the flat underside on my forehands definitely helped. Um, I didn't really see too much of a difference from a regular zone and this ringer top zone um they're both overstable my zone from a year ago has now gotten straight and in a headwind it kind of turns as well uh, but these are nice and overstable and i got my battle pack at the disc depot.com uh and i used um uh and i used Coach Shorty to uh, get 20% off my order, just like you can do when you shop at the Disc Depot. I would suggest you go try them out yourself because I am over a year and a half into disc golf and I have not thrown a ringer or a banger. Now I have felt them, but putting the top of those discs onto a zone. Interesting. <laughs> but thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.